Hi, and welcome to this video about the Timeline View, a new feature in Google Sheets. Timeline View allows you to have a time-based visualization of your sheet data. It could be a project management uh, data, it could be anything that is time-related. So we have here a, a basic sheet with uh, some information. We have a column with project tasks, a task description, a start date and an end date. Uh, a start date, at least one date column is, of course, uh, necessary to create a timeline view. Uh, and we also added a column for owner status uh, details and uh, files. Uh, important to know is that the date columns should be formatted as dates. So the first thing we will do here is select those two columns here and click on Format, Number, and choose the date format here. This will allow the system to uh, completely understand the uh, format of those dates. And the uh, pro tip here, it could be interesting uh, as well to add some data validation here to create a date picker. So while it's already selected, we can just click data, uh, data validation, and then we can choose uh, date in our criteria field and um, choose the is a valid date. Uh, option. And you can even reject input uh, for invalid data. So let's start now uh, adding some uh, information here. This is topic one, description one. As we added the data validation, we are able to select or double click here for uh, date uh, data input. We can just add some dates here. Uh, interesting here to know is to use the smart canvas uh, notation here. So by typing the at and then the name of a colleague of, uh, or myself, I'm able to uh, add names here. I can add the status and I can uh, add a file. A file could here be even also a smart canvas uh, created by this. There you go. So let's add some extra topics here as well, just to create some content here. Could be busy, could be new, could be dumb, and so on. So for this uh, column, even it would be interested to um, uh, decide to have a uh, data validation as well here based on a list. So instead of writing here, we could also select this column here and add a data validation based on a list of items, new, busy, and done. This will create a drop-down list, which is easier to avoid any mistakes here as well. Let's add some dates here. can be overlapping, of course. November, uh, let's do this in the past. Like this, then we should mark this as done. This is uh, new new and new. So when we uh, have our data, we can now uh, insert a timeline. The system will suggest a range, a date range. Uh, this is uh, from uh, the beginning to the G5 row. Uh, that will do for now. You will see entering or adding new lines will also add or uh, expand the data range here uh, for your timeline view. As soon as that has been done, the timeline will be created automatically and will add the settings bar here at the right side. So here you are able to change the suggested configuration by Google. So automatically, as a start date field, the start date column was uh, chosen. You can eventually uh, change this. 
uh, the same for the uh, end date and the same also for the card title. Uh, if necessary, you're always uh, able to change this uh, when needed. Those three fields, four fields, exact, uh, actually, if you also uh, include the date range, uh, are the required fields. Without those fields, uh, Google will not be able to create a timeline view. But you also have some extra optional fields. Right? For instance, you could uh, choose a uh, card color column. Uh, so we will do this based on the status. Uh, of a uh, task here and you can also uh, add some card details uh, in this case we will choose the task description field to add some uh, information you see the description here is uh, added automatically it's also possible to add a category or a, a type uh, of information that uh, will allow you some grouping, huh? but you can do it also uh, based on the owner or a status uh, or whatever uh, uh, data that is uh, available in your sheet. In this case, I would say I want to uh, group by status. Then the status column has been added here uh, automatically. This view allows you to jump uh, quickly to today and it's also possible to change the overview. You can choose another uh, view to see your information here. It's also possible to change uh, the, the view of the, the timeline, comfortable or condensed. You can uh, zoom in, zoom out, uh, and so on. Clicking on a card detail will show you the information here. Uh, so. Uh, all information that is added in our first sheet, in our basic uh, source, let's say, will be uh, viewable here as well. And here it's also possible to add manually uh, or change manually the card color if you would like this. In our situation, we would like to do it uh, in an automated way. So we could uh, decide to use the status column uh, with some uh, conditional formatting here. So what we will do here is select this column, click Format, choose Conditional Formatting, and we will add some uh, automatic uh, formatting here based on the text. If the text uh, is exactly new, we want the background to be yellow. If the text, and we will add another rule here, is exactly busy. We will have the background to be orange. And then we will add the third rule for the third value. If the text is exactly done, we want the background to be grayed out. There you go. So changing those uh, fields will uh, automatically result in another formatting, in another color. And because we use this status column as the basic for the card color, it will be reflected automatically also in our time view. You can see this here in the settings. The optional field for the card color is based on the status column. So. Uh, if the status column has a specific color, it will be reflected immediately in our timeline view. For instance, we will change this one, the topic one. Let's change it to uh, busy. Well, the timeline view will automatically uh, reflect that change. So I hope uh, you can uh, have some inspiration from this video, uh, start to explore this and uh, good luck with that.